Hi, my name is Cynthia Coburn. Today we are going to make Bronx Jew fish and I'm going to take you step by step. So here the item, this is the lemon I'm using to clean the fish and I'll also be using a lime to clean the fish. Very good. Yes, I'm going to use to clean the fish and wash it. After cleaning the fish and wash it, I'm going to use some homemade seasoning here, which is um, scallion, shallots, onion, scotch bennet, clove. And pepper. Okay, very nice. pepper. And after that, I'm going to use some of the salt salt in it. And then I'll be using black pepper. I'll be using all-purpose fish. Okay. So now I'm going to wash the fish. Just going to wash it off. So now, now I'm going to grab the lemon. I'm to grab the lemon and the vinegar, the lime. So I'm gonna go run some water here. I'm gonna wash my the fish. I'm gonna use. Some apple cider vinegar. How much apple cider? About a cup? Yeah. You can give me the knife. So I'm gonna grab with the knife. I already washed the lemon. I'm gonna wash it again. So I'm gonna squeeze the lemon and the fish. By squeezing the lemon, it will take all the rank from the fish. I rinse it again, and also I use in the green lime. So we use the lime and the lemon. So I just turn the fish up like that, and then I'm going to. Clean the fish now. Make sure the fish clean properly. Okay, that one clean. All right, what's the next step? Next step, I'm going to remove that from there. And then I'm going to just see if there's any little scale leave back. 
and any part of the fish. Just slice it a little bit and I'm just clean, make sure everything wash clean properly. Except by washing it. Get the lemon water and I rest it here. So I clean up. Everything clean and good. Fish that we're using today, we're using red snapper. We're using red snapper today. So we're using red snapper. And this is the tail of the snapper. And also we have a slice of kingfish here. Yeah. This is a red snapper. And we have a butterfish. So we're going to turn this water out now. And we're going to run some clean water. And we're going to just wash them. Yeah, rinse them off now. Yeah. So I'm going to rinse off the fish now, as you can see. Everything is very clean. Rinsing it off. Clean up off the fish nice and clean. Make sure everything is clean. So it's important to important to wash your fish with lemon and lime because they move the rank and the smelling on the fish and the apple cider vinegar very clean and always use the lemon and lime you squeeze the juice properly and you clean the fish that's all wash your fish with so the importance of cleaning your fish you're going to use lemon so this is the lemon here and also you use lime so this is the lime, it's all they use on the fish. Okay, so now I have a work in here. I'm going to lay the fish down. So get extra, extra water from the fish running off. So I'm going to lay it down, very nice. Okay, so guys, I'm going to clean the, the ginger. Okay, and the ginger give you flavor. I'm going to grate this organic ginger. It gives you flavor. Keep your body good, keep your heart clean. Very good for your body. Digestion and everything. Very good. Very healthy. So I put a little ginger into the fish. And then I'm going to take my hand. And I'm just going to stir it up. See, look how beautiful it is. Beautiful fish. Okay, these are beautiful fresh fish we just get today. So you look at it, fresh fish from Jamaica fish with snapper. It's a wonderful fish we have it. Pretty and nice, you see fresh, clean, no, no, you know, form, everything. So we know we are eating very healthy fish. So I'm going to add one of the fish in.
This is how my grandmother teach me to do fish. You know, long time ago, that's how we do it. We we'll just pop it. And add it in. No, no, the regular fish. So this is the butter fish. So I'm going to turn up this bad boy here now. So now I'm going to so I'm going to remove the fish and put it here to drain. Put it on that just to drain. So I put it on the rock so it's able to drain the extra oil. And then we are going to deal with the other fish. So I'm just going to just put a little base, toss this fish, a little flour, not a lot. And so you just pop dry the fish. I'll just sprinkle a little flour on top of it, just a little bit. Not nothing to make it crowded. So we just want to put the fish into the pot. So this is the last piece. Okay, I'm turning the fish. This is We're turning it up. We're turning it over. Right. How beautiful it looks. Nice to see you again. Put. You know, so in the middle here, what she do? She drop out the fish. She put in a stallion, shallow, so you call it. With a little brown flour, and then she pour the little water over it. Break it in, and there comes the gravy. Old fashioned. So we think we're going old fashioned, old fashioned. 